Hi, I'm George Lynch with Dangerous Guitar, and today we're here with a wonderful Friedman amplifier that we're going to get familiar with. Uh, this is called the Dirty Shirley. It's a 40 watt version of the amp. There is a 100 watt version as well. Uh, I prefer this amp. It has a uh, very simple layout. It's um, sort of a clone of an offset 6364 uh, Plexi Marshall. Uh, and it has those kind of tonal qualities. Qualities. It, it uh, has a lot of sag to it, a lot of natural compression, a lot of headroom. Uh, it's not a highly overdriven amp, so it takes pedals really, really well. It's very sweet sounding, very articulate. A really good blues slash classic rock amp. And as I said, it takes pedals really well. As, uh, and uh, so you can crank. What I've got here now is I've got the, the gain crank on 10. I've got the master down to 4. Uh, it's pretty much a one-trick pony. Uh, it does one thing really well. Um, so uh, you can fine-tune the tone knobs, obviously, to your liking, but I found that really having done doesn't make a whole lot of difference. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter where I put these, it kind of sounds the same. Uh, I'm going to try this amp with my Les Paul, and then I'm going to switch to a Strat. We're going to compare uh, what this amp does with those two different guitars. Okay, so I'm going to start out on the uh, bridge position pickup and just play some simple rock chords to give you an idea of what the amp sounds like. Now I'm going to play some single note uh, soloing uh, with the Dirty Shirley, give you an idea what that does on the Paul. This is one of my favorite amps. Uh, um, sonically, what I really love about it is is it sounds very natural. Um, you know, it's always hard to describe tone in, in words because, you know, language is difficult. One word means something to me and means something else to you. But uh, natural is a good word for me to describe what it does because what I, what I think it allows you to do is hear what your fingers are doing. You can hear the fretboard. You hear what the pickups are doing. And the amp doesn't get in the way because it's not overly saturated. So you can hear all that articulation and especially dynamics. So when you're um, when you're pulling down the volume, you know all those little subtleties. expression I mean you can get a lot of different kind of voicings within a small amount of notes just by the way you articulate your pick and the way your fingers hit the strings and the way you hit the amp where you hit the front of the amp the amp kind of reacts differently and uh, I think it's really a, a, just a fascinating amp I, as I said I prefer this way over the 100 watt I think there's a lot of things that the 100 watt doesn't do that the 40 watt does do so now we're going to try the Strat through the uh, Friedman Dirty Shirley with the exact same settings I've got the gain max and the master down to about four. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the Les Paul. I'm just going to hit some chords, some basic chords, and do a little bit of riffing uh, so you can hear how a Strat reacts to the Dirty Shirley. <laughs> 